Hi, this is Rian from the Must Be Noob. In today's tutorial, we will show you how you can join a Windows 11 computer to an existing Active Directory domain on Windows Server 2025. Before we begin, there are a few requirements that must be met. You must have a Windows 11 machine a Windows Server 2025 machine with Active Directory domain services already configured, the domain name and credentials for an account with domain joining permissions. This is our domain controller for the must be noob.lab active directory domain. The server's host name is DC01 and it is configured with the static IP address 192.168.2525. Let's go to our Windows 11 virtual machine. On Windows 11 VM, first configure the IP addressing to ensure it can communicate with our domain controller. Click the start button and select settings. In the settings window, Click on Network and Internet. Click on Ethernet. Here you will see IP assignment. At the moment, this Windows 11 computer is set to obtain IP address automatically from the DHCP server. We want to assign a static IP address to this Windows 11 VM. Click Add it. Choose Manual from the drop down, then switch on IP version 4. Here you can enter your static IP address which you want to assign to this Windows 11. First, type the IP address you want to use. Make sure it's within your network's IP range. In this example, I'm going to assign the IP address 192.168.25.311 to this Windows 11 machine. Next, enter your subnet mask which is usually 255.255.255.0 for most home networks. Then, enter your default gateway's IP address which is typically the IP address of your router like 192.168.251. Next, input your DNS server's addresses. Enter the IP address of the Windows Server 2025 domain controller which serves as the DNS server for the mustbenoob.lab domain. In our example, the IP address of our Windows Server 2025 DNS server is 192.168.2525. Click Save to apply the changes. We have successfully assigned a static IP address to this Windows 11 computer. Open command prompt to check network connectivity with our domain controller. Type ping must be noob.lab and press enter key. We can verify that the Windows 11 computer can resolve the domain DNS name to an IP address and is also able to communicate with it. Now we are ready to join this Windows 11 computer to our Active Directory domain. Let's go back to Settings window. In Settings, go to Accounts. Click on Access Work or School. Then click on the Connect button. Click on Join this device to a local Active Directory domain option. Enter the domain name of your Active Directory domain environment. For example, let's use mustbenoob.lab. Once you entered the domain name, click Next. You will be prompted to enter the credentials of a user account with permission to join the domain. Enter your username and password and then click OK. If your network administrator has given your account access, you can enter your credentials. If not, ask your network administrator to enter their admin credentials to join the device for you. A normal user can join a machine to the domain though there is a limit of 10 machines that can join. Here. I'm going to use domain admins account. Type administrator at mustbenoob.lab and admins password and click on OK. We might see an extra dialog to add an account. However, this is not necessary to join the device to the domain, so click on the skip button. At this point, your account should be set up in Active Directory. You will need to restart your Windows 11 computer to complete the process. Click on restart now. After the reboot, you will be able to log in using a domain account. Let's go back to our domain controller VM. Open Active Directory Users and Computers. Click on Tools and select Active Directory Users and Computers. In Active Directory Users and Computers, expand domain name and select Computers OU. You can now see the computer account of our newly joined Windows 11 machine in the domain controller. Let's go back to Windows 11 VM. After restarting the Windows 11 device, we can now log in with our domain user account. Press Ctrl to delete key. Click on other user. Type domain name slash username or user principal name. 
Type administrator at mustbenoob.lab as the username, enter domain admin's password and press enter key to log into the Windows 11 computer using the domain admin's account. Since we are first time logging to this Windows 11 computer, the user profile will be created. Once logged in, let's verify that your Windows 11 computer is successfully joined to the domain. Open settings again. Go to system and then click on about. Under device specification, you can see the FQDN of your Windows 11 computer. In our example, it is windows 11 vmmustbenooblab Click on domain of workgroup. Here we can see the full computer name and domain name. In our case, the domain name is that which is mustbenoob.lab. That's it. You have successfully joined your Windows 11 machine to an existing Active Directory domain on Windows Server 2025. Your computer is now part of the domain network and can access domain resources. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you, be sure to like, subscribe and click the notification bell icon for more tutorials like this. See you in the next video.